<coughs> la, 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 la. Hello. Uh, just let me have a little drink. Come in, mug. You see me, mug? Mm -hmm. mm. Coffee, decaf. I've had that mug for about 30 years. Right, today, <coughs> excuse me, a little bit flemmy. Uh, I'm going to be doing a monotype, which is kind of a cross between drawing and printing. Um, and you can see here before me, a little bit different from what I've normally got. I've got this Perspex board, Perspex sheet, whatever you'd call it, underneath my drawing surface. And that's got a layer of printing ink on it. Caligo Safe Wash Relief Printing Ink. Really, really thin layer. It may not be thin enough, actually. We'll find out when I've done this. Uh, and then I've got a piece of paper, and on top of that piece of paper, I've got tracing paper. And you can see here, I've already got a portrait that I've traced, and I've reversed it. And the idea is when I draw over this in a suitable tool, with a suitable tool, in this case, Biro, my pressure will push the paper underneath into the printer's ink and a line will be transferred. Uh, my worry is when I said it may not be thin enough layer of ink, any pressure from my hand that goes on it from rubbing on it may also be transferred if it's if there's too much ink. Um, you've got to get a nice balance between did you need just the right amount of ink so that the odd little handmark may go on, but it just gives you a bit of character. Um, what you really want is the lines to, to show. And the lines will be interesting because they kind of spread out slightly. It's interesting. Let's give it a go anyway. So that the point is, do I... You kind of got to try not to put your hand on too much. It makes it a bit difficult because I'm definitely someone who likes to lean and the pen's not working. There we go, I've got to get it going. Just realise I am drawing this, but I do have a reference photo as well, so let's just bring that up on my iPad here to my left, and you can't see it. Uh, so in my drawing, this is Hank Marvin, famous British guitarist. Uh, famously a guitarist for Cliff Richard and the Shadows, uh, and he is, um, he's a proper British music legend, really, Hank Mervyn, really is. Um, he was probably the first British guitar hero, very unique sound, very, almost, it's weird, he used the tremolo arm a lot. But he was more subtle than you think. If you listen to other guitarists trying to copy him, they always overdo it. Um, he also used finger vibrato, vibrato more than I think people realise. Um, but yeah, he's a great guitarist. Did Apache, the absolute out and out classic Apache. Dun, 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 dun with that fantastic guitar sound. Really great. So why am I drawing Hank Mervyn? Well, I'm drawing every member of Rockestra. And what is Rockestra? I hear you all asking. Well, if you're a Paul McCartney fan, you already know. Um, Rockestra was a, a massive band Paul McCartney put together in 1979, mainly to record two songs. Well, one, one was instrumental, um, the Rockestra theme. And uh, they were, were they both on? The Rockestra theme was definitely on the Wings album, Back to the Egg. Um, 
And this band was huge, absolutely huge. Uh, three drummers, two percussion players. I, I don't know how many guitarists there were without me double checking. Uh, but I've got 27 people to draw. There weren't 27 people on the recording, but there were some extra people who played with Rockestra at the um, concert of the people of Campuchia in 1979 which Paul organised, I didn't only find out recently. So I'm drawing everyone who ever played with Rockestra, 27 people. And um, they're all going to be monoprints or monotypes like this. I believe monotypes the right term. And uh, it's kind of my little project to do while I'm... Uh, off work over Christmas. Got to fit it into other stuff like, you know, Christmas Day, going out, all that stuff. But I'm try and do as much as I can, and it'll carry on into the new year. And um, my plan when I've done them all is to make some kind of little zine, little booklet. Uh, and then put it in my shop and no one will buy it as usual but yeah that's what I'm doing I think I, I'm not sure why I chose it well I do know why I chose it because I need a project I've not been uh, doing much recently my drawing has been very unfocused I've been doing a lot of line or printing um, but I needed a, a, a route back into drawing because uh, uh, I don't want to let that go. The, the drawing feeds everything else, really. Without drawing, there's, I'm not doing any line or prints. So yeah, that's what, I've, um, that's what I'm doing. And I need the drawing in my life. It's very important to me. It's a good escape from stuff in it. I'm going to rub on there, hopefully that will make a mark. I may go very quiet at certain moments in this this video. Not pressing down too hard with the hand is quite difficult. I'm doing my mean knuckles rubbing. There's going to be a lot of marks around here. It's alright. I don't want Marks around the face, though. It's all very loose. Which is fine. Kind of like that. It's always exciting to peel back the paper when you've done this and see what you've got. Is it good? Is, is it a disaster? I did one once and peeled it back and it was just blue all over. It was just um, way too much ink, way too much pressure from my hand. And uh, yeah, didn't didn't work out that well. But then you just do another one. Because you know you're taking enough ink off then. You can the next the next one you do on the same plates of, of ink will be a lot better. The, so the Rockestra thing, there's a great documentary on YouTube of um, that was filmed at the time of them recording it. And it never, apparently, it only ever was played publicly once, but obviously somehow it's found its way onto YouTube. And it just shows them in, in Abbey Road, just um, recording it. The old band turns up. Kind of looks like it's the first time the band has, has maybe heard it. I don't know. If, they, if it's not the first time they've heard it, it's definitely the first time they've played it. And Paul's going around 
giving pointers to people like Pete Townsend, Dave Gilmore, John Bonham's drumming. He's, he's amazing on that. Kenny Jones' drumming as well. He's pretty good. Um, Ronnie Lane's on it. Lovely Ronnie Lane. Um, and uh, but but what makes me chuckle? <laughs> there's one line. There's one bit of lyric in it, and it's literally like Paul's thought. What should I put here? And he just stares in, and he just goes, "Why didn't I have any dinner?" Yeah, <laughs> and this line makes no sense. In it's like, where's that from? Why didn't I have any dinner? And uh, he's just he's just like, oh, I'm just gonna put something here. That'll do. That'll do. Doesn't matter too much. And the great thing about Paul is it it doesn't matter. He knows that some lyrics don't have to be particularly good. They're just an interruption. But this is an instrumental, so there's just a bit where it stops and I'll show you. And it is just a little interlude. But what's funny is he's showing, showing like <laughs> Pete Towns and that. And this is where I go, why didn't I have any dinner? <laughs> I wonder what Pete was thinking. Pete, who's known for his rather thoughtful uh, searching lyrics. And Paul McCartney just goes, well, I didn't have any dinner. That'll do. It's great, isn't it? Mm? Great. <laughs> love it. I love Paul. I love Pete. Very different characters. I think. Maybe they're not. It always intrigues me to see when they happen to do something together because I kind of would never put them together. Uh, and the, if you look at the footage for the uh, when they're playing the concert, the people at Campuchia, the whole band is wearing uh, glittery silver jackets, except for Pete, who's just wearing his normal suit. And uh, it's like, Pete Tain's then is having none of your bullshit, Paul. <laughs> I'm not fucking wearing that. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> so funny. But he's still, he's still at one point, he's standing right next to Paul, kind of like pulling faces next to him and mugging to the camera a bit. Oh, it's quite funny. <laughs> I think when they're doing uh, Lucille, Chuck Berry song, he's trying his best to disrupt it. <laughs> I hope this works while I'm doing my finger. Trying to get some shared on it that I don't think I could do with the pen. Using your finger gives a more less defined area of, of ink. I hope this works full stop. You're privileged today, I hope you know that. I was uh, planning to stick some music on and sit down and do this kind of like for two or three hours um, but I thought well, I wanted to film something I can't have my music on while I'm filming else the um, copyright would get the video kicked off Incidentally, I'm, I may, if any of you listen to my music on here, I may be taking it off YouTube if, if that's possible. Um, because one of my friends has a podcast and he uses my music and, uh, on the podcast. I don't think, uh, I think some of the shows you can't put on YouTube because it recognises my music and says, this belongs to Darren Riley. And, uh, and I'd rather the podcast was on YouTube than, than my music was, to be honest. 
you can get my music elsewhere. Um, you can get it direct from my Bandcamp site, which would be very nice if you do that. Um, ballardpop.bandcamp.com. That's ballard, B A L L A R D, pop, P O P. But I'm also on Spotify and all the streaming services, I think. Apple Music, Deezer, Pandora, whatever's still going. Don't know. Right. That's Hank Mervyn. So we see if it works. I hope it has. I hope it has. Here we go. Why should I do this? Do it this way. Try not to get any ink on my fingers. Promising. Oh, I think it's worked. It has worked. It's a little bit inky, but I'm good with that. So there we go. Hank Marvin didn't write his name on. Let's do that now. I'll just stick that down. It's all right. Got to write this backwards. I know I'm writing directly onto the paper. That's fine. How do I do? Backwards ends are difficult. Hank Marvin. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Can't get it up. Oops. There we go, Hank Marvin. Legend. One down, 26 to go. See you next time. There you go. Bye.